All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Hangar Extender Extended mod, which was originally made way back in the day by forum user SNJO. It was later taken over and maintained by forum user Alowix, but sadly seems to have fallen to the wayside earlier this year, but thankfully was resurrected by who else but Linux Guru Gamer. When that man sleeps, I have no idea, as he seems to just crank out resurrected mods left and right, and I love him for it. Good job, my friend. But what this particular piece of work does look to add into the game is, well, frankly self-explanatory from the name, it extends the hangar as well as the vehicle assembly building, allowing you to build even bigger spacecraft than ever before by effectively removing the confines of the build area. And that is a glorious and wonderful tool to have. So wonderful, in fact, I, I could have sworn I made a video of this ages ago, but apparently I didn't. And so this resurrection of the mod gives me the perfect opportunity to finally show it off. So let's uh, jump right into the space plan hangar, considering the name of the mod, probably a good place to start, and basically go over how this works and give you an idea of what you can create. So let's load in a very weird thing that I built earlier, and this is the long plane, which I basically designed to sort of show off the basic vanilla version of what you could build in the hangar. So this is a Mark III cockpit with 12 of the long Mark III liquid fuel fuselages. And that is as long of a plane as you can possibly make in the base game, which frankly is insanely large. I can't imagine ever taking off something this big, but if you could do it, Theoretically, yeah, you could probably build it. And what's fun about the Hangar Extended mod is, well, you can still limit yourself to the confines of the hangar in here. So if I grab another cockpit, I can't go past the open area over there because by default, it's leaving on those confines. As well, frankly, it does kind of help with limiting your part count, which is a good thing. But if you do want to make something even bigger than this monstrosity, well, you can. All you need to do is go down to this lovely little button here, and what this is gonna do is take us out of the hangar and basically remove all building confines. So let's press the button, and there you go. It literally just removed the hangar, and I can actually move my uh, mouse, or the camera rather, even further. I was at the edge of the hangar earlier, and so all I could see of our long plane was well, what you could see. Now I can zoom out to the whole thing and make it even larger. For instance, we can go to this long plane number two, which if we load, oh God, it's over there. Oh boy. Uh, if we load, it is three times the size and I built it over there for some reason because I just kind of kept on dragging to see how far I could go with it. But yes, this long plane, is 36 of those fuselages and well it's in our giant long hangar which if we want we could bring it technically back into the hangar but as you can see it is outside the area but of course we can always switch back and forth between the two which actually i'm wondering is that the full one did i not save it Hold on a moment, let's go to this auto save ship. Ah, yes, there we go. I must not have saved it. That looks more correct. <laughs> there's, there's all 36 of those long fuselages. Perfect, and if we do actually go back into the hangar, you can see them being cut off in here, and yet still going way out of the back over there, and of course the rest going way off into the distance. And uh, yeah, that is a small ship, technically, that you could make. Again, remember, it, we've basically removed all the building confines. You could keep on going with this thing if you really, really wanted to. And best of all, well, you can still launch. If we just go and hit the launch button, it's going to take us to the runway with the entire 36 fuselage tanks. And there we go. 
<laughs> it's just kind of drooping off the end there. And actually, a very fun thing to uh, remember, uh, a good little note, is remember when we did go back into the hangar with this thing, and some of it was hanging out the back wall of the hangar? That back wall of the hangar is right there on the runway. So if you don't want things hanging off the back like this, you just need to move the ship further forward. But yes, there is all 36 of those tanks and, you know, our crew up there in the Mark III cockpit. And isn't it wonderful? And if you could possibly build a plane that could take off this size, well then have at it, that's the fun of this mod. Now let's actually go back to the Space Center view and what the heck, we'll just leave that thing there. And of course go to the Vehicle Assembly Building to show off the same thing here. As of course, if I do load my uh, save file from earlier, we have my long rocket which is as tall as I could make a rocket here in the building. I don't remember how many of these orange tanks it was, but as you can see, we go all the way up into the rafters where we have a Mark 1-2 command pod, and that is as big of a rocket as we could build normally. But if we uh, again say load my autosave, which may be more accurate, oh uh, yeah, here it is, yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> we can go out into the world and zoom out even further. And this particular rocket is twice the size of the standard limitation for a rocket that you can build in the VAB. And look at it, we just kind of keep on going here. And there we go, we're all the way at the top, finally. <laughs> that, that is what you can create with the hangar extender and, you know, a lot of time and effort. Now, what's fun about this is, um, well, I tested taking this launch pad earlier, and, well, what the heck, I'll just show you guys what happens. Oh, no control. Oh, we need people in here. <laughs> I did leave those other people out on the runway, didn't I? Well, there we go. We'll fill and launch. Now, what's fun about this, of course, is that once you get a rocket this large, you have to account for things like swing at the bottom. Yeah, even though I had it attached up at the top, the bottom tank starts swinging and, well, they start exploding. So you have to make sure to add in more of these stability enhancers down at the bottom as well, or else you just end up with a giant inferno. But, I mean, that's what the command pod was. Way above the roof of the vehicle assembly building. And that is a wonderful, wonderful tool. I love this mod, as it really does basically take away any build limitations that the game normally puts on you, and really the only limitation you have is, frankly, how much, you know, your computer can take parts-wise. Of course, the more parts you get, the harder it is for the processing. But uh, yeah, there's our long rocket number two, and, um, it's a beauty, a true beauty. <laughs> that would never fly in a million years. So that is the Hangar Extender Extended Mod. Not much else to talk about it. We can use this button to turn on or off the building confines, and of course, as you can see, the building as well, to create as big of rockets as you can imagine. And that... Well, that is a wonderful thing. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, and I would definitely suggest that you go and do it, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, that you do come back for the next win. We'll be looking at what hopefully is another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always... Have a good one.